All right, everybody, so this is 24 hours in our life, me and baby R. Every morning we've got the same routine. I wanna make sure I get the naps in appropriately today. We walk to Starbucks in the morning. I get this place cleaned up, it's a mess. But he, right now, is watching this amazing Hey Bear video. There's a bunch of sensory videos for babies and they come across the screen and this little kid loves them. Let's get this thing started. Look at him, he's just, he's just in heaven. Let's go, 24 hours, let's do it. So I use any moment to get stuff done with this kid. Um, every morning we go to Starbucks. So right now, Alexa, what time is it? It's 7.02 a.m. 7.02, we've already um, fed in the morning. So he got up at six o'clock. Oh, this boy is sleeping through the night. Okay, so I, I have had this uh, sleep suit thing. I've had this for some time. But um, he's a pretty tiny baby. Um, now that I'm talking, of course, he's like not interested in that anymore. Um, but I, ba so I've, he's a pretty tiny baby and I have, I originally had him in a different sleep suit that kept his arms like this. But as he got a little older, I was like, let me try this baby Merlin's magic sleep suit. He sleeps through the night. He's li literally, I'll put him down at eight o'clock we do the bedtime and you guys will see that later so eight o'clock he goes down i put him in there i don't put him asleep fully asleep i put him in there when he's drowsy he goes down in like five minutes and he sleeps until five today he slept until 6 a.m which is amazing because i'm getting a full night's sleep myself um so then we woke up we already did the bottle oh also i got New bottles. This is two, this is what we used this morning. These are the Dr. Browns, but they're glass. Wait, they're glass. So I, I, I'm not like bougie like that. Maybe I am. Um, I have the plastic ones as well, but they just fade and they're, they're just dirty. And I don't know. Also, they say you're supposed to replace them every uh, three to four months. So. The money you spend on these, you might as well just get the glass and not have to replace them. Obviously you'll replace the nipples because they're, they get really dis disgusting. Um, that's that, okay, I'm gonna, he's getting a little bit out of this. I wanna get this kitchen cleaned up. Look at this, it's just a mess. So, and then I got all this stuff over here. Look at this, trash. All of this is just trash because it's so hard to bring trash out. People are like, how do you do this, Kevin? Well, I find moments like these where he's chilling and then I run to the trash room down the hall and I put the trash in there. Carly's over here, she wants food. All right, here we go. Don't get scared. She gets scared like little movements. There we go. Okay. We got Lake who just heard that we're getting food. So let's get him some food. <laughs> Guys, I'm not kidding, this is, this is what it's like. <laughs> Oh, we also already changed the diaper this morning. So this morning before we got started here, we woke up, we got this food in here. I got my Gaze with Kids shirt on. We woke up, we did the bottle, we laid down a little bit after that, and then changed his diaper all from six to 6.30. There you go, Lake, your food's in there, have at it. And then I started recording with you guys after I put that video on for him, which you can hear. Oh God, okay. Unless I put music over it, who knows? Because we don't want any copyright problems. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna get on this kitchen right now. Let's do it. So every single, uh, I have to spend $78 a month on, anytime you have a placement, the county requires you to spend a certain amount of money on clothing so I always have these receipts around uh, because you obviously have to show your receipts for what you spent so I have TJ Maxx I have Carter's which Carter's is the best let me show you something look at these tiny tiny little shoes I mean of course every three and a half month old baby 
need shoes, right? Because, because they're walking around, right? They're amazing. So these are from Carter's. So I keep all my receipts. I usually keep it over here because it'll be a reminder for myself. Um, this is really cute, baby footprint. So yeah, let's get at it. This here is um, his whole binder. This is a whole folder just for him. Uh, on the back I have an emergency plan. That way if I have a babysitter or anything. Um, well, there's one of these in his baby bag, but this one I take when I leave the house. When I go to the doctor's visits or something like that, I take this anytime I leave the house. And it has everything about him. And if anything happens, People will see that and then know what to do because there's a very specific order. Call me, call 911, call this person, call this social worker, all of that jazz. However, uh, today I want to like condense this form and his placement papers as well as um, my license through the county literally onto one sheet because that way I won't have to carry this around. I could just carry that. I don't know, in his, in his bag or something like that. Um, but I store everything, medical referrals, everything in here. It's a big binder. This is golden. I mean, it's been about a half hour and he's still into this. And here's another thing is I don't feel bad because it's a sensory video. It's bright colors. It's like rainbows and unicorns and fruits and really good music. I don't feel bad for letting him watch it. Letting him watch it. Go get them. We didn't finish all these, but it's okay. We'll get it through the day. Bahadi, what's up, homeboy? What's up? Good morning. Somebody has the hiccups. I'm going to hiccups. Are you ready to go to Starbucks? Are you ready to go to Starbucks? Another thing I do is every morning I ask Alexa, what's the temperature today? Listen to SoCal, 53 degrees in the morning and a high of 84 degrees throughout the rest of the day. Like, this makes no sense. So I don't know where you are, but here 50 degrees is freezing to me. So I always just put on a hoodie, throw on some jeans or something. But this guy gets in the cutest little bear outfit you will ever see. All right, you ready to get ready? Yeah? Oh, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Oh, buddy. Uh oh, drop the pacifier. Here we go. Let's do this. Mm. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ladies and gentlemen, I know why there was so much fussiness. That's why. That is why. I could smell it. I could smell it clear as day. So every single morning, I go to Starbucks. Every morning, unless it's Sunday, because we'll go to church, and some days I'm singing in the morning, so I won't go to Starbucks. It just depends. I used to go before him, but um, so what time is it now? 7.25. Uh, I used to go before him, but sometimes it's too much in the morning to go and do that. Uh, let me get him changed. I don't change him into his clothes clothes until later in the day because I'm just gonna run down to Starbucks. So sometimes if it's warm enough, I'll take him, uh, oh, it's okay, in the, um, what am I doing here? Let me take this off. In just his pajamas. Oh my God, this smells so bad. Let me just throw this off. This. Buddy, this stinks, bud. It stinks. Okay. We got a diaper, and somebody got big enough. He's in a size two now. He's in a size two diaper now. Yeah. So he's growing. His pants are still newborn pants. He's, I guess he just doesn't have as long of legs or something. But the top of him, the top of him, is a is a three month. <laughs> I love tickling him. It's so cute. Okay. Um. Oh my God. Oh, it's so gross. I'm not going to show you guys this, obviously. 
I've got a couple things here. So we've got the, just the regular car seat, Kleck car seat, and that's on the Kalugo stroller. I also have the Cybex stroller. However, it's a little bit longer. The Kalugo is a little bit more compact, um, but I will say the Cybex I, has, I think has a better turn, turning radius. However, the Kalugo, this is why I use the Kalugo. Low foot action here. I use the Kalugo because they have the ba the infant car seat. Okay, not the infant car seat, the infant uh, bassinet thing, right down there. So literally every si look at my plants. Look how well they're doing. Uh, I'm gonna try and find pictures of the fiddle fig and the um, what is it called? The uh, Oh my goodness, what is this called? Um, 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 I can't remember. But, and put them on the screen. If they're not on the screen, then I couldn't find the pictures. And then this bad boy over here used to be so tiny and now it's super long. Um, this one up here is the same thing, the po pothos, I think you say, right there. It's now getting pretty long. It's all the way down there. Um, and then I've got over here, this is totally off, like whatever. I've got this bad boy here. And then I don't know if you guys have seen, I think maybe you have all of the, the wall ones here, which are getting pretty long. So, um, okay, anyway, where were we at? Oh my God, I'm such a spaz. So honestly, this is what I do every single morning. Like I switch out the car seat, the infant car seat for the Kalugo uh, infant bassinet thing. And let's do that. Okay, it's 8.12, we're officially headed out of the house. Got a little bit more clean, I'm not done for the day. Um, so let's get out of here while we're gone. Alexa, tell Roomba to start cleaning. Okay, I'll tell Roomba to start vacuuming. Watch this. Oh yeah! So, wait, let's make sure. Yup, nothing on the floor. So Roomba's gonna do I'll get the pacifier. I'll get the. How'd I know? How did I know it was the pacifier? Look at that. There we go. All right, let's go. I need my coffee. So, we're headed outside. He's like really fussy, but oh, this is a thing he's been doing. Um, he's been. I don't know if it's. And if anyone knows, please let me know in comments. I don't know if it's because he's just becoming more aware of himself and what he likes and doesn't like, but he's getting really, he's like fighting naps big time. Like he's just not, and he's tired. Like I can see it, you know, when a baby's sleepy, like now. Here, here you go. I talk to so many people and they're like, if only there was a pacifier strap you could put around their ne their heads. But we all know we can't do that because they would choke. But like you hear the fussing, it's just because he needs to, he wants to sleep. Or no, he doesn't want to sleep. Anyway, so we're walking through the neighborhood. Um, I really love where I live. So, Ventura Boulevard is right back there, like two blocks, which I live on Ventura. And it is like super walkable, very like young families. And what I love about this area, oh, the pacifier came back out. We had a good 
I don't know, 100 yard stretch. He gets so tired and then he just fights it. He never used to be this way. And now he just fights it and fights it and fights it. Anyway, so I really like it because it really offers people the ability to live in really nice single family homes. And you see I'm like walking. There we go. I'm like walking in the middle of the street because, oh my God, he will not stop taking it out. Relax. Oh my God. So another thing that he's been doing, okay, so he fights the naps. And then another thing he's been doing is he is like grabbing the pacifier while he's falling asleep. And I don't understand why he, he does this because he pulls the pacifier out every single time. Anyway, that's all. I love the area, Sherman Oaks. If you're ever moving out here, moving around here hit me up um, I'd love to help help you find a home but it's really sweet and then the main boulevard Ventura Boulevard is right there with all the shops and brunch spots and Starbucks usually we just walk around this block and then I'll walk to Starbucks to you know do this block do the next block down get him to fall asleep and then I'll go to Starbucks and do my work all right now I'll see you guys there <laughs> I gotta get him to sleep Okay, so it's 8.30, and we're just making it to Starbucks. Right there. And I think the only reason is because I got him this morning. Usually, this is like a 7.30. And we, oh, also, we slept an hour later today. So that's one thing. Actually, I think that's the only reason. I did decide... to dress him this morning, so that put us a little far behind. But, um, that's that. Yeah. Look at all these people. Oh, yeah. Now we wait. We wait and we wait. I'm out of breath. All right, I'm gonna get my, my coffee. I almost said soda. Get my coffee and then um, sit down and get to work. A couple weeks ago, I got these I got these books from the new. They had like this promotion thing and they gave them to me um, back in like 2020. Anyway, so I was like, you know what? I wanna write to him. So I started writing to ABR. Um, it's not a, I haven't done a lot yet, but just like a write. To it. And I thought, like, oh, I should, I should um, do it via, uh, via what? What am I talking about? I was like, I should type it. But there's something powerful about writing, you know, with a pen or a pencil. And I also wanted, so I want to give this to him. You know, if I end up adopting him, I want to give this to him when he's older, when he's an adult. And I, my intent would be, well, someone over here is being really loud. Um, my intent would be to um, keep this up through his whole life. You know, obviously I'll end up doing more books and whatever, but just I want him to know the things that were going on in my life while, you know, we shared life together. So sometimes I'll come here and while he's sleeping, I'll just write to him, um, you know, just what my thoughts are about who he is, the things. Sometimes I write like we had a tough visit yesterday or sometimes I'll just talk to him about what it was like, you know, the night before for him. One of the first things I wrote here was like, what do I want regarding baby R? It was like, what do I want out of this? Like, what are my goals, I guess? Um, so it's just something I like to do and I hope to be able to give it to him when he's an adult, you know? And I think writing it is really good because it allows 
um, him to see what my handwriting looks like, to get to know, you know, I date it and everything. So I'm going to do that before I start some work. I also remember, so, oh, by the way, it's 8.45, 8.45 a.m. Like, because we slept an hour more um, than usual, and I decided to dress it, which I'm happy I did because I, my broker messaged me and asked me how an open house went. I had an open house yesterday for this uh, loft. It's a million dollar loft in Pasadena. Um, and he asked me how it goes. I was like, oh my God, thank you for messaging me because I have to go return the open house signs and the keys to the place. So I got to do that today. And then at three o'clock, I'm meeting an old friend of mine. We're trying to uh, reconnect and then, then we'll see. Oh, I have to go to Target to return some stuff. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's going on here? Right now, I'm gonna write to my boy. Okay, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's really good. Drink a coffee. It's hot. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> So somebody is awake, he is chewing on my finger. Yeah. Uh, and he's fussy. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, we'll go home. I will carry you home. But he's just hungry. I just realized that it is 9.30. And it's time to eat, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm gonna make this bottle before we go back to the house. Okay, we're back home. We did a quick diaper change. It is 10.30. Uh, I'm going to switch out the Kalugo bassinet with the Kleck car seat right there. Um, this place still isn't perfectly clean, but like I get it as clean as possible. And then at night when he goes to bed, I'll clean it up more. Or if I wasn't leaving, he would be taking a nap in about another two to three hours. And I would definitely clean at that point. Um, but I got to get downtown to drop off everything in the office and all right So this is how I go about this right here um, He's I'm gonna set him down, but he might not want to be set down and he's probably gonna scream And then I'm just going to switch out the car seat put him in the car seat as quickly as possible He doesn't like the car seat. We all know this. However, I got um, you guys will see the setup. It's an iPad I put that sensory video on He's just in heaven with that. So Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Let's go. Okay, here's how we do all this. Let's go. So, first things first. Leave him there. Get the keys. Keys. Where are the keys? Got the keys. Open up the door. Now, we're going to return these open house signs. I got this uh, thing here, so. All right, we're gonna get iPod, said iPod, I mean iPad. And this is gonna go up in here. Okay, so before he, like he's chilling there, before he even gets in the car, I turn this bad boy on. YouTube Kids, right? He loves this one, it's already on it. He loves this one. So I'll turn this on, get it going, so that when I get him out of here, Put him in he's already like focused and amused also like there's been times where he's been crying and you know he's already freaking out so i'll put the pacifier in also i'm talking right now so he's like confused you don't want it okay you don't have to have it that's fine and then we'll get all this stuff in the car let's go and there we have it He's in the car, I'm in the car. He's got his little video going. Can you even see it? I don't know. Um, so the only the only downside to all of this is that I don't I don't I can't listen to music. The stuff's on the iPad, but I don't want to listen to music because I don't want it to distract him from the sounds of that. So what I've been doing is I took all the sound off here and I faded it all the way to the front of the car. So when I do have stuff on, he can still hear that. Um, and I just listen to audiobooks now because it's softer, it's quieter. Um, 
right now I'm listening to The Secret. If you have not listened to The Secret or read The Secret or watched the movie The Secret, I really encourage you to do that. It's all about the law of attraction. It works, it's amazing. Uh, I think I've watched The Secret probably five times over the last, um, I'd say 10 years. Um, it's amazing and yeah. So we're on our way, we're on our way. It's quiet in here, I love it. He will get a little fussy when he wants his pacifier uh, and I'll give him that and then he focuses on that again and eventually he will fall asleep. But he's probably not gonna fall asleep on this one because he did take a nap and you know, all that jazz. But if he is, if he hasn't had a nap, he'll fall asleep. So, all right guys, I'm gonna put this down and focus and uh, go drop this stuff off. Peace, wait, peace out. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I forgot his stuffed animal and he really likes, also likes stuff to grab onto. So he's doing really well, but I figured I would just come in here and get this. And just put it on his, put it on him, just because, I mean, he's not cold or anything, but just so he has something. Oh, I have this too. Do you want to hold on to this? I think he'll like the blanket better. The muslin blanket, this thing right here. So I'll just take this, just kind of bunch it up a little bit. And here you go, bud. All right, so let's get out of here, back on the road. We have made it. And homeboy's asleep. Man, that was a peaceful ride, I'll tell you that much. Here's our office. Cool, right? However, Chris is not here. He's probably showing the loft. So that means I cannot leave him in here. Probably gonna have to do another... Well, we could probably get the other two signs. Well, this is where I usually sit when I come in. There's like nothing here because... I hardly ever come here. I usually just work from home. You ready to go back to the car? Look how peaceful he is. He's just loving it. He's smiling, aren't you? <laughs> He's smiling. Okay. Oh, that's a big smile. That's a big smile, bud. Yeah. Look at these little tiny shoes. Where are they at? Look at the. Well, they look huge on there, but they're not. <laughs> yeah, did you have a good nap? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go meet my friend. What time is it? Ooh, 11.30, we are, above, we are ahead of schedule, but how's that diaper though? I wonder how it is. I wonder how it is. We'll see when we get back home. You're not fussy. All right, that's it. Um, got my keys right here so we can lock up. And head on out. Peace. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, if anyone wants to buy a loft in LA, uh, hit me up, I'm your guy. Uh, it's a million dollars, it's a two bedroom, two bath, super amazing loft in Los Angeles. It's actually in South Pasadena, but um, I'm your guy. <laughs> My info's in the description. All right, I gotta lock this door, peace out. Okay, we're back home. This little man fell asleep in the car. Um, not only on the way there because of that stuff, the videos, but also on the way back. So, it's just amazing. Um, now, what's next? Okay, I'm exhausted. I need to take a nap. So hopefully he'll want to take another nap. Um, you can see that he's still tired. They say that like napping in the car for babies is never the same as a nap, like in their bassinet or crib. So we'll try and do something like that. Um, but I'm gonna eat first, because I'm hungry. I need to eat lunch and then try and sleep. Okay, how do I do this? Keys, you put the key in the door cup and you turn it. All right. Oh, it's always so much. Okay. Okay, we're home. We're home, we're home, we're home. Um, eventually, I'll finish cleaning this apartment. <laughs> oh, anyway, time to eat, time to relax. He's got all this stuff. You ready to get out of there? Yeah? Oh, I'm rubbing the eyes. I know you're sleepy, bud. 
You want to change this diaper and then eat, buddy? Or do you want to eat first? Okay, guys, we're gonna do that. Oh, fussiness. Mm. Um, I'm gonna nap, see what time we get up, eat, and then, oh, I gotta go meet my friend in like two hours, three hours. I need a break, <laughs> okay? I'll see y'all then. So you know how I said I was gonna take a nap? I'm not gonna do that. I did just eat. It's uh, a little bit after 12.30. Um, but he's actually in his crib right now, like doing really well. He gives me, he gives me, at this point he's giving like about 15, sometimes even 30 minutes in his crib in the middle of the day. And he just looks at the mobile, there's a balloon that's colorful, things on the wall. So I'm literally gonna use this time to just pick things up. Like he's got, why he has three blankets out here, I have no idea. But um, just pick stuff up, get this trash <laughs> in the trash um, down the hall and just like get as much clean as I possibly can because um, I still need to fix my bed. Just because it's, it's time. Like I would, I, it's like, do you wanna take a nap or do you just wanna like get this place cleaned up a little bit? And if I can get things picked up quick enough, um, he'll probably still be chilling and I'll be able to just like get maybe 30 minutes in, if it, not 30 minutes, because he's probably gonna be up soon. But you get the point, a couple minutes. I don't know what that is. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna do that, but that's like another part of my day. That is, anytime he's chilling, like I already did some work this morning. Um, I already bought the, the, the signs and the keys back. We're back here, he's chilling, let me just, I ate real quick clean as much as I can and hopefully get even just 10 minutes in. So that's it for now. I'm gonna, we're gonna go to my friend's, no, we're gonna go to a restaurant and meet my friend at a cafe. All right, goodbye. Oh my God. So I just realized I'm not doing any of that. I threw the trash out and on the way back from the trash, I was like, oh my gosh, he's chilling. I'm gonna go take a shower because <laughs> I still have not showered today. I probably have about 10 minutes. Y'all ain't coming in there for that. But um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna literally just take a shower. <sighs> this is my day. Goodbye. <laughs> what did I tell you? I have, I get out of the shower and he's crying. I had literally, <laughs> it is blue. I had literally 10 minutes. Hi buddy. How are you? How you doing bud? Good. So I'm gonna take him out of here and Bring you in the bedroom. Where's your pacifier? Oh, I didn't, didn't give you one because you're doing so good. Oh, there's a baby. There's a baby. Oh, I know. Okay. I am on my way to meet my friend. It is 2.54, which means I'm running late. Um. He's asleep. He's been asleep for like an hour now, which is amazing. But I was doing some work and I like totally got lost in that. <clears throat> um, I don't know what made me look at the time and I was like, oh my gosh. So I texted my friend and um, just said I'm running a little bit late. It's only, I'm only gonna be like 10 minutes late. <clears throat> Maybe 15, depending on traffic. Um, but I'm, glad I at least let him know and I'm sure it won't be a big deal with traffic so all is good and I'm very happy this little man's asleep um so we'll go there and then I think after that we will go to Target oh I forgot this stuff I want to return at Target so I'm gonna just have to stop at the house when I'm done I take that back like I ended that that clip and then seconds later I was like wait a minute you put the stuff for Target in the baby bag which is great and maybe my brain was thinking earlier like put it in there because you don't want to forget this later <laughs> so afterwards we'll go to target and do the return um not a return an exchange the pants i got in were too big so okay that's all <laughs> right now it's 10 minutes till 5 4 50. i was gonna go to target but this dude has been sleeping for the last two hours and he's ready to get out of this car seat. He's kicked his shoe off. So I just thought to myself, he woke up. Oh, I know. 
And I know he, we, we skipped that, that free 30 meal um, because I, he's like, I was like, he's tired. He's very tired. So now that he's awake, he wants to eat and he wants to eat now. So I was like, I'll just go to Target afterward. No, not after, tomorrow, because I know that if I wait to go to Target, I'm sorry, I know if I go to Target now, it's not gonna be an enjoyable experience. <laughs> he's gonna cry, he's gonna wanna eat. And I have the stuff, I could just make it in the car, but um, well, I really don't want to because it's, it's just a lot of work to make a bottle. Oh, I know, buddy. To make a bottle um, when, I'm, when I'm out. So I'm gonna do that now uh, with the Brezza. Yeah. I know, I know. These glass bottles are definitely much, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I got going on here. These glass bottles are much more, much heavier, so he definitely won't be able to hold it on his own for a while. But I like the glass, I really like them. Um, I already washed one and it came out like glass, nice and clean. Those, those um, plastic ones, they're just not my favorite. <sighs> Look how he's holding on to my little finger, well, my big finger. I'm weird, I'm really weird. Oh man, I'm tired. Okay, so um, I also have TV shows I really like. Um, 911, ooh, if you've never watched 911, you need to watch it. Also 911 Lone Star, you need to watch that. Um, what else do I watch? I watch, obviously, Real Housewives of Potomac because I'm from Maryland. I also watch Real Housewives of Salt Lake City because it's amazing. Um, I watch La Brea. Have you checked out La Brea lately? I'm still deciding if I like it. One reason I really enjoy it is because I was a huge fan of the 100 and La Brea is sort of like that as well. I watched The Good Doctor because I got wrapped into that and now I'm like, they're on season five and I just gotta keep watching it. And Family Guy. Right now the only thing on is Family Guy, so I'm gonna watch that. Um, and I literally like catch up on shows, you know, like when I'm feeding him, I'll start a show, come back to it. And then after he goes to bed, I'll make watch one show or something like that. But like, for example, I've got stuff on the couch I wanna put away. I did clean up a lot during the day, um, but I wanna get it like, pick up the last bit of things. I have laundry that I did last week, I still haven't put away. So there's that. It feels good to eat, yeah. Okay guys, that's about it. I'm gonna finish this and watch some TV and then start the bedtime routine. All right. <laughs> okay, now that we terrorized the living room again, we took a picture for Instagram. I'm not gonna show the photo here, go to my Instagram. You can check it out, it's really cute. We're wear wearing matching outfits. Short uh, hoodies and pants. Love it. And no socks or shoes or whatever. Um, now we're going to go see what time is it. It is 7.30, we are 7.25. We're 25 minutes behind schedule. This is the bed bedtime routine. Um, as you can see, I got somewhere back there, there's laundry. I'm gonna do that when he goes to sleep. <sighs> um, what I do is I get the bathtub running so the water's going while I get his pajama socks, diapers, diaper, and, um, let me turn this light on. And, uh, what's it called? Uh, the aquaphor ready. So I'll get all that, I'll bring it in the bathroom, I'll change them in the bathroom. Uh, and that's how that goes. Once I'm done that, uh, I'll record what we do after that. We do some prayers, we do some music. He passes out. Um, he's ready to go to sleep. <laughs> he's tired. Okay guys, uh, you're obviously you're not watching, watching bath time. So I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, peace out. It is the cutest thing when they just like fall into you. I know, buddy. I know. Okay. We got diaper. <sighs> He's rubbing his eyes. He's resting. Oh, I know, baby. I know. It's so cute. So, I know, buddy. We're gonna be get. He just wants me to pick him back up. I got the Merlin, what is that? Merlin? Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit. Turn this water off. Um, and then 
He always cries. He always cries while I'm getting all this ready. I turn on the bassinet because two reasons. One, I want the sound. So he's used, used to the sound before he falls asleep. I shut the curtains, the blinds, and then the curtains. Um, and then I use this sound machine and I turn that on as loud as it'll go. I want all that going beforehand. Um, ooh, the iPad. I turn that on with music, uh, like bedtime music. And again, I do this while we are like praying, we're bouncing, oh, eating, going to sleep. Um, but I always make sure at this point, I'm turning off the music um, before he falls asleep. Because I want to, so because he's turning four months, that's the wrong thing. He's gonna start this sleep regression that babies go through. And it was advised that I cut out all um, like sleeping aids. So I just don't wanna have the music playing because I don't want him to like need that to fall asleep. So we've got that going. Um, and then the last thing I do is get the bottle set up on the baby Brezza. Um, where's the bottle? Bottle out of the dishwasher, here we go. And then we gotta rinse this. Get that, there we go. And I'll put the bottle here, like I do anything, look at all this, look at all that formula. Insane. Um, I do anything I can do to get things ready as quickly as possible. So I've got everything literally waiting that and then oops get in there you know how i do this with one hand even when i'm holding it i've got one hand and that's what i do so i hear it's all there right it's all good we got water it's good doesn't and i will literally wait for that to be uh until i come all the lights in here get turned off lock the door so that way when i come out here to get the bottle, lights don't freak him out. Come on, that was interesting how it was looking. All right, now shut this door. That was Lake, I was letting Lake in there. Um, I will turn the Alexa on. Alexa, turn on the light. Boom. Alexa, turn the light to 1%. Goes down and then this light goes off. So it's really dark in here other than the bathroom here. Um, but when the bathroom's, when I'm done, I turn the bathroom out and we do that. So officially now we're going to get in the bathtub. This guy's right here, calming down. Right, Glenn? All right, let's do it. We gotta do this. We gotta do this, we'll be back, bye. So we are officially done in the bath. He's hungry. So I'm gonna feed him. We're gonna do some little prayers. I know it's coming. And then I'm gonna put him down. So feeding, prayers, put him down. But it was a good bath. He's all cozy up. And it's time for us to have some private time. Right now it is, it's about to get dark. Um, 8.01, so we are right on schedule, bud. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, do this and then I'll see y'all when I'm done. Okay, bye. Okay, so he is down, asleep, passed out, and friends, that is it. That is the end of the day. Um, I am going to come over here, turn all these lights on finally finished cleaning up all this. I, I moved a bunch of stuff around so we could do pictures. Um, and then I have all of this laundry here and that whole thing's full that I'm gonna finally get done tonight. I'm gonna probably put something on the TV and sit here and do that. I do sleep on the sofa a lot um, just because like with the, I don't know, like sometimes he'll wake up and he'll get fussy 
And, um, oh, I moved this plant because I wanted a different look for the photos. So I'm gonna move this back over here. Um, this long, beautiful plant goes up here. And then, oh, I'm so sorry. I put it in the drawer. Did you know that you're supposed to talk to your plants? I'm sure you guys know that. And I do. Anytime I water my plants, I talk to them. Anyway, that's about it. Let me fix this. Um, that's all, people. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>